Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 6 of my segmented blind let's play of Fool Can No Grasista trial version. Having been enslaved and given a fate to fight until we die, we immediately get a surprising degree of free reign. So nobody really organizes us, or makes us work, or really pays all that much attention to us? Unless we try to escape, we get to do pretty much whatever we want. And we get rewarded for working, actually. As far as slave systems go, it could be a lot worse. Okay, the floor map of the Port of Black is now available for use. Oh! That looks pretty interesting. The floors that you can currently access are... Um. are displayed and connected by lines. In places where an event can occur, there's a event mark that appears. And now that you're in a town zone, If you select an event mark and move to it, oh, there's a shortcut for moving to it. And you can go check it out. When you're exploring in the labyrinth, if you move into the By moving into the interceptor area, you can move to, you can, it's a shortcut to move to the town area. Ah, that was the first chapter popping up there. Oh, I didn't even press anything, I just moved in the vicinity. Must be an event. So where are you going to go? Not understanding what's going on. Uh, well, can't understand. I can't recommend wandering around without knowing what's going, without understanding the circumstances. Uh, that's true. I guess I'll wander around and listen to people talk. Ah, fuck. I have to listen to people talk. Uh, I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Mm, those guys look important. He, he's got the marker, yes, but he's not important. <sighs> okay. And so, first of all, this box of slave swords. this dwelling called the the container of slave swords we should investigate first so we go talk to someone oh this is a named character in the, the on the preview website as well so there's someone looking at me. And her equipment seems, uh, well, good for a place like this. Are you one of the watchmen? 
Uh, perhaps happy that she was spoken to. She smiles warmly. No, I arrived here only recently, and I'm in the same situation as you. My name is Excel. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ha! Is that so? I'm Jadal. So, a slave of the elf tribes. So, even as pretty as she is and all, she's being used as a soldier. Jadal is thinking to himself, rather than throwing her into battles with monsters, she'd make better money as a prostitute. Huh. Well, if you're not a guard, then I don't have any business with you. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> Uh, perhaps, with the guards, you wanted to confirm something. If it's something that I can answer, I would be happy to. Hmm. What do you mean? Well, since you've just come here, if you don't know something, it'll be hard to live here. So, thinking that when newbies come in, I sell out a bit of guidance in the area. I see. With that smile and these words, I wonder how much I need, I should be trusting her. Hmm. Uh, just, I think Jodel is just a suspicious sort. Oh, comes from his background. <laughs> so, these strangers whom she has only just met, she's willing to treat kindly all of a sudden? What's the meaning? Yep, he's suspicious. Well, there is also the possibility that she just gets along well with people. But, there's nobody but slaves here. Hey, those ropes she's got, uh, those cords on her stomach and such, remind me of uh, some really weird bondage stuff you see sometimes. Nah, anyway. So, in the same way as us leftover soldiers, there must be some reason why she's fallen into slavery. And it'd probably be best to think about that. Uh, hmm. Could you, perhaps, be questioning me? Doubting me? No. I've just met you, and now you're willing to take care of me. It's... not comfortable for me. Hey, she's also got a chain going from her choker to her bow. It... Since that's the bottom end of her bow, she wouldn't actually be able to raise her bow, given the way her hand is positioned. 
Unless that chain extends quite a ways. Anyway. Yeah, and Jadal's thinking it was this. He doesn't want to trust the other slaves, and that's why he was looking for a guard. Hmm. And hearing this interchange, a passing slave. <laughs> hey, new guy. You don't want to get involved with her. You'll get fooled by the way she looks. And... Well, don't be fooled by the way she looks. If you don't want to die. Hmm. Uh, she's got bad luck. Uh, you know, that kind of bad luck that kills other people and not her. Maybe? Um, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't say anything. As expected, after all, something is, uh, there's an appropriate reason for why this is. Oh, yeah, it seems like I failed at something here. But it's true that I'd like to show you around. ここでは戦いが起こらない日などなく、共に過ごした仲間はすぐに死んでしまいます。こんな素敵な職場ですが、頑張って行きましょうね。So here, there isn't a day that there isn't a battle occurring. So the people that we pass our days with, our allies, eh, well, they die, die off pretty quickly. Although this is quite the workplace. Let's do our best. Huh. Wonderful, huh? It's so wonderful, I think I'm gonna cry. あの、ではもし何か困ったことがあったら声をかけてください。力になれることがあるかもしれません。Hmm. Okay then. Anyway, if there's anything that troubles you, speak to me. I would be glad to lend you a hand. Yeah, I'll remember it. When the time comes, if the time comes, I'll be counting on you. So even after the conversation ends and he walks away, she continues to look at him. It's almost as if she's seriously inspecting his body. <laughs> well, that's the impression he gets. Oh, and having that event, I can't have more events with her. Hey. Okay, while exploring the container of slave swords, There's someone who's powerlessly slumped up against some wall somewhere. Hey, got a minute? Uh, oh, Shinrika! Oh, new guy. You need me for something? If I can get money out of, my, out of it, I'll listen. He's got a evil looking face. But he seems to be looking out to 
make his lifestyle better. So he hasn't given up hope, at the very least. Or perhaps he's just trying to take advantage of someone. Even for slaves, is there a way of earning money? You don't even know that. You just need to defeat the monsters. Yeah, okay. So, the monsters are just wandering around all over in the labyrinth. If you want to go there, just head on up. And in the... In the courtyard, on the surface, you can go to the Port of Black. So we need to get up to the surface in order to go down into the labyrinth. Now, in any case, you can't get out. If you don't, do, and if you don't do anything, you can't do anything. You should go take a look. <clears throat> As expected, in order to get out. You can't simply go to the surface. In that case, where is it connected to? So it's not connected to the surface. And it's not connected to the Port of Black. So. And that thing. That place up there, of all our points to it. <laughs> the slave makes a experienced expression and has that shit eating grin, say. Ah, that Uh, that exit is connected to the Valley of Scattered Food. Scattered Feed? The Valley of Scattered Feed. お前も国外から来たんなら分かるだろう。こっちの西側の地区にはあのバカでかい城壁の外に深い谷があるんだよ。その谷底に繋がってるのさ。Well, if you come from outside the cave, outside the country, then you understand, right? On the west side, in the, yeah, in this western region, that ridiculously big wall, on the other side of it, there's a deep valley. It's connected to the bottom of that valley. It's connected to the to the capital. So why is such an exit here? <laughs> if you go, you'll understand. <laughs> if you want to earn even more, even faster, it's even, it's, the fast, it's the more appropriate way to head. Hey, hey. And I see. He snickers to himself. Hey, clearly, if we go, it's gonna hurt. So, in the valley floor, the monsters will come out, huh? Uh, but the monster should be coming from underground, so... It's some other kind of monster? Well, whatever.
But if there's a way to get out of the country without following the proper paths, then perhaps it might not be bad to try it. So. I got a mouse. Check that out. <laughs> oh shit, now I know there are collectibles and I'm gonna be wandering around collecting them. Oh, look at that, it's, it's a consumable. It's a consumable. You can eat a mouse for 20 life. Well, that's the size of it. No, no, no. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep talking to people. Even Fatso, if I really have to. Hmm, <sighs> oh, damn it. How am I gonna work like this? What happened to you? Uh, a bit earlier. Oh, you're the guys who, the new guys who came a bit earlier. Hey, actually, I borrowed a bit too much money, and I'm in trouble. Huh. If you need money, then you can defeat monsters, right? What are you saying? If I fight them like this, I'll die. Ah, hey, how about this? Give me a... Mm. Let's see, proof of... Proof of something. Won't you lend me... I think he's asking us to let him take out a loan in our name. Yeah, he'll, re he'll pay us back right away, of course. As you know, I'm new here. I got nothing to lend. All right. He was ask asking us for, asking to borrow money from us in order to pay off his other debts. Yeah, that's not exactly a winning strategy, dude. Eh, well, too bad. Yeah, but if you do earn enough to lend, then lend it to me. I'm Koro Koruhonen. 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 Yeah, like I'm ever talking to you again. Uh, Excel. I'd like to have you one day. Mm, she's cute and all, but I don't think she'll go for a guy like you. Hey, what are you looking at? Uh, no, it looks like you're having fun over here. That's all. Well, even in this prison, a hell prison, there's still something to look forward. How about you join us? You're a new guy. I'll teach you a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm grateful for the offer, but it's unnecessary. <laughs> Is that so? Fine. I'm Gilson. I didn't ask your name, jackass. <clears throat> well, if you want to take me up on my offer, if you're not going to take me up on my offer, then don't get in my way. Uh, no, 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 I wasn't close enough. Don't talk to him. Don't even look at him. Jeez. So, we know this guy pretty well. So, finally we've come to this guy. And it seems he's at the end of his patience. He, he seems 
Hey, well, it's an appropriate level of frustration for a former noble. Ah, <sighs> so, the more I look at it, the more it comes to... I come to the realize how dirty place this is. It, this is not so suitable for such a fine personage as myself. So, as fast as possible, I'd like to get out of this horrible situation. Just have to take action and return to my mansion in Belgarahaba. Ah, great. <laughs> Try to trying to escape from this coin this area well everybody sure thinks of that with our manacles being off there aren't any restrictions on us even if we're slaves we can still walk around freely And if we do well, we can win our way out of here. Even Zaldone thinks that way. Alright, out of the way, out of the way. I am the Mad Bull of Belgarado. He just gave him that nickname. He just gave himself that nickname. Not necessarily just now. But... Well, maybe... Maybe he did give it to himself just now. Uh, anyway, he says uh, he's the feared general. It goes by the name of the Mad Bull of Belgarado. So, don't even touch you if you don't touch me if you don't want to get hurt. Huh. Well, he's getting excited to get back above ground. But in a hurry, <laughs> there's a spear that tripped him up. What are you doing? Oh, isn't she nice? So, you want to go to the Port of Black? Well, you're pretty fired up. But, if you don't go in there calmly, you'll lose your life immediately. Calm down a little. It's best you calm down a little. <laughs> so what foolishness are you saying? Who do you think I am to die in a labyrinth? <laughs> No, oh, he doesn't. He was not saying that he was planning on going to the dungeon. That's... So how was... What was his plan? Okay, she's telling him that the only place they have a right to go is into the Port of Black, the underground labyrinth. If you aren't planning on going into the labyrinth, then why are you headed... Topside. <laughs> Pathetic. Anyway. That is yeah. Going for a little walk. 
You see, I'm going to need weapons if I'm going to fight monsters, right? So, I was going to set those up. Hmm. Since you've just come, come here to this country, you've lost all of your ability to pay. Well, even if you had these uh, weapons, it wouldn't have any meaning. Furthermore, the necessary weapons are prepared all in the clearing, the gathering area. And you're not for, and you're not allowed to go walking around above ground without permission. So, nano deska. Moshi mudan de kokuga ye deo to stapa iwa. So, that's how it is. If, just if, we were to head outside the kingdom without permission. Oh, would you like to try it out? Well, you've got some courage. If your life lasts long enough. These girls are kind of asses, but... Is that so? Then I'm going to be heading out. Excuse me. Now, by the way, I had no intention of leaving. None whatsoever. Please don't misunderstand. So, Zaldone returns to uh, not going upstairs, I guess. And the guard just says nothing and leans up against the wall. Oh. Nope, I clearly read that wrong. Oh. She swings a whip. I'm trying to do this too fast, aren't I? Hmm? Why'd you do that? I said I didn't want to go out. Your voice is too big. I was able to hear that you were planning to escape. Hmm. He'll do it just because he's ugly. I don't think anybody's gonna care. But you slave swords are valuable. Um, just uh, valuable possessions. Unfortunately. We can't have you getting hurt unnecessarily. In that case, put away that whip. What's wrong with you? Well... If we hurt you in ways that don't particularly affect your performance in battle, yeah, we can discipline you. So, you should reconsider your... Uh, so, you should... Uh, you should take back your plans here. Ah, uh, uh, please forgive me.
The girls in this place are kind of crazy. Except for the elf, but we don't know what her deal is. Ah, so, what's going on here? Yeah, Jadal just watched that. It's kind of funny. Yeah, well, anyway, if it were so simple to simply escape like that... There's no way the slaves down here wouldn't be, you know, active. And so, there's this city walls, stupid big, that you can't get over by your own power. So they, you have to go through two different gates in order to get through. Heh. A bit unreasonable. So here where you're normally fighting monsters, with some battle experience, if you've accumulated enough battle experience. Even if you've cur curated the battle experience we have, it's the same as suicide. In any case, it's unreasonable to try it by yourself. But if all the slaves in this country were to gather together, the question would be different. Well, Saldone wanted to take the stairs, but uh, looks like he's not going to be doing that for now. Looks like I won't have a chance to talk to the guard either. Let's return to our exploration. Hmm. Okay, I've talked to everyone. As expected, I should go take a look at the Valley of Scattered Feed. Come on, you three. Alright, where are you going? I'm not getting inf any information out of these guys. I think I'm going to investigate our surroundings. And without understanding the situation, we should it can't be recommended to be moving to be uh, moving out but if you say that's what you're going to do I won't stop you but no matter how strong you happen to be there are places where you, you won't be able to reach If you run out of endurance, you should rest. Don't forget. It looks like if I go over there and use that, I can rest. If it gets dangerous, I make use of it. All right, I'll remember that. Okay, when we go to sleep over there, the days will pass, a day will pass, but in exchange, our general endurance will be recovered completely. So, as the circumstances warrants it, let's use it.
There you are. I know I saw another one up here on one of these. Ah, oh, there you are. Look at me, I'm catching mice in a prison. Hmm? What happened? Those things only light up when the conditions are met. Did I catch enough mice? I'm awesome at catching mice, and that's my new <laughs> favorite job. Hmm? Hey. You see that pop up in the lower right of the screen? That's banditry. So if our banditry is up to level four, we might be able to pick the lock or something. I saw a couple others of those, but I didn't think they'd be important. That guard that talked to Fatso was blocking an important corridor. Although I didn't realize it at the time. I mean, I kind of realized it was a corridor, but I have no idea that it was important. I mean, obviously the way out is on the upper level somewhere, right? You don't have the primary entrance to a place. Any place at all. Four or more stories below ground level. One collapse and dozens or hundreds of people are trapped. At that depth, who knows how long it will be before you can clear your way back to them. Anybody who thinks these slaves are even remotely valuable, and if you didn't, why do you keep buying them? Come on. Would risk losing them due to such a horrible residence design flaw. What? Where are we going? What? Who cares? I've got a logistical tangent to rant about here.